So now we are looking into the popular Gaussian sum formula, which states the sum of 1 to n for some natural number n equals n times n plus 1 over 2. And we are going to prove this formula by the proof of induction method. And for this, we are first looking into the base case. So here n equals 1 and we are checking whether the statement is true. So for n equals 1 we have the sum from 1 to 1 of k equals 1 times 1 plus 1 over 2. And this equals 1 and here for the sum we also have 1 because we are just adding from k equals to 1 to 1, which is just one term, and this is exactly 1. So the base case is true, and for the inductive case, we assume, assume statement is true for some natural number m bigger or equal than 1. And this is some fixed natural number. And we are assuming that this equality is true if we are inserting m for n. And m is one fixed natural number here. And we want to prove that the statement is also true for the subsequent number m plus 1. So for this we are taking the sum, so this whole formula actually, and inserting m plus 1 instead of n. So let's do it. So we have the sum from k equals to 1 to m plus 1 of k. And this contains every term from 1 to m plus 1 and we are, we are adding all these numbers. So we can also rephrase the sum as the sum from k equals to 1 to m. Of k. And here on the right hand side we are missing one term because we reduce the number of terms on the right hand side by this last addend here which is m plus 1 because if we are inserting m plus 1 here for k we are getting m plus 1. So on the right hand side we need to add m plus 1 to have this equality here. So now by assumption By assumption, we know that this formula is true for m. And here, here we have the sum from k equals to 1 to m. So we can apply the formula here. So if we apply it, then we have m, m plus 1 over 2. This is exactly here the formula we have, the right hand side of the formula. And then we still need to add m plus 1. And now we can further rephrase it to m m plus 1 over 2 plus 2 m plus 2 over 2 equals m m plus 1 plus 2 m plus 1 in brackets over 2. And now we can simplify the numerator here further. So we have m plus 1 times m plus 2 over 2. And now you can recognize here the right hand side is exactly the right hand side of the formula when inserting m plus 1 for n. So if you are inserting m plus 1 here for n, you are getting exactly the term we have here at the end. So this proves that the statement is also true for m plus 1, and we assume that it was true for m. So this concludes our proof. So by induction, the statement, so the formula, is true for all natural numbers n. This concludes our proof. Uh, I hope this video was useful to you. If you learned something, please consider subscribing to this channel. Leave a comment, hit the like button, and see you in the next video.